Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Project C1. Uh, I was driving around last night and I noticed a little problem with the dash. Uh, the heater controls, you know, there's still ones on the left and the right. Um, there's some bulbs behind those and they're usually orange. Uh, mine are not working. So, I uh, don't know what's going on. Uh, the only thing that I have checked are the fuses. It's not the fuses. So, I've decided it's time to get around to changing the lights. Now, I've gone for a red one because it matches the whole black and red theme that I've got going on with this car. So, without further ado, let's get on with changing those bulbs. Right then, so let me show you what's happening. So, first and foremost, turn the key to ignition one. Gives us all the warning lights and the dash and all that sort of good stuff that you expect. Uh, then we turn the lights on. And we can see we've got absolutely squat in there. So, if I turn the lights off, no change. On, off. So, I'm thinking those bulbs are gone. Uh, I have had the cowling off, I have checked the fuse, the fuse is fine. Um, I'm going to guess the bulbs. So, it's, I mean, it's the next cheapest opportunity to get this fixed. So, let's get those bulbs changed. First thing that we need to do then is to turn the ignition off, remove the dash. Now I've just taken the dash out and I can see why my rear windscreen demister doesn't work. I will have to fix that. Never mind eh, it's a problem for future Dave. Let's get on with taking the dash out. Right, so now we've got that out, um, it was basically a case of once we get to this point here, two tabs there squeeze those like that and they pull out the back of the the heater controller that's where the actual heater control knob goes so that will be this one okay now then now that we've got that out i would like to show you what's going on with this um the bulbs are there and they do work but boy they are bad so what i intend to do is to remove those bulbs and replace them with the red ones Right, so, we've encountered a slight problem. I've bought the wrong bulb. Yes, it's red. Yes, it's one of the capless wedge bulbs. But I bought the wrong size, because, look at this. If, of course, I don't drop the bulb. We'll put your side-by-side -side comparison there. Hmm, that one, which is the one that came out of the car just then, much smaller than that one. So this one, no matter what you do, will not fit. So, looks like I'm going to have to buy some red bulbs. Uh, I had a look in the Haynes manual. These are T5 style bulbs. So, looks like I'm going to take to the internet and uh, I'll get me some more bulbs. That'll take about a week for me and for you it will be now. So, we are one week later and we have some small bulbs. So, I think what it's time to do now is uh, grab these little things. Mag to grid, and we'll grab one of the new ones, if I can get them out of the bag, and we'll shove that in there, and we'll stick some lights on and we'll see what happens. So, there we go, that's better, that's far brighter than that. So I think what we're going to do now is uh, get the other one out, we'll rebuild everything and we'll have a look see how it looks in the actual housing itself. So we've got the lights installed then. Let's switch them on and I'll see what it looks like. I right, see that's really cool. Um, you can see on camera where the, the points of light are. Um, you can't really see that from my perspective in the driver's seat. 
uh, all you see is like a nice red glow as the dash lights up, um, which matches the, the rest of the painted trim quite nicely. Uh, they look really good when these are black, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. So I really enjoyed doing that. That was a, a relatively simple job. Um, it was a case of dashboard out, um, unplug the connector at the bottom, remove these little bulbs, these little T5 bulbs, the one that's covered in like this rubbery stuff that makes them orange. Um, they're not the greatest bulbs in the world, but uh, these ones are far better. Um, they were about a pound fifty for two on eBay, something like that. Um, really, really dirt cheap for, for, the, for the impact that you get out of them anyway. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. It was a nice, simple job, and it makes such a good impact. Uh, if you liked it too, then remember to smash that like button, uh, share the video, and any comments on this one are welcome. I'm looking forward to that. Um, the rest of the C1 series is available, should you wish to subscribe. You can see that here. And just at the bottom here, there is uh, an Instagram tag that you can follow me on, and you can see what I'm up to during the week between the videos. And if you did like it, remember to ring that bell, get notified next time a video drops, and I'll see you in the next one.